hope y'all having a good day. I, I'm praying for all the people that was caught up in the hurricane and, and uh, everything in New Orleans. And I'm sending up prayers for them and I hope you all are too. I'm going to show y'all today a little bit of me sewing on my um, gazebo, uh, gazebo windows. Can't never say that word. I'm from the South. I always get tongue tied, but y'all know what this is. And it's been a while, and I have thought I would have it finished in August because I started last August. And when I first started, I was hot on it. And I said, I wasn't laying it down. Well, I did. Got sick and whole nine. Didn't feel like fooling with it or whatever. But I uh, picked it back up. And I also, I am doing um, uh, Grandmother's Flower Garden. I'm doing that also. So, with that being said, I am doing, I had three hand projects, and this is one I just finished, and this is the baby's nine patch, uh, cookies quilt, and look here, I binded it in this orange, I didn't, I liked it the orange, I didn't really know how it was going to turn out, but I binded it in this orange, and, I, and it really showed up really good, I love it. So. It made those uh, blocks pop and she loves it she pulls it down in a crib I keep it on the back of a crib but she pulls it down every night some nights she wrap up in it, and some nights she just lay on it but she really loves her I don't know if you can see that her I'm filming with two cameras to see which one turns out the best she really loves her little uh, tag and she just plays with it. I think she likes a little hummingbird. As you can see, hummingbirds are my thing. Hummingbird and dogwood. That's my favorite flower. And I like magnolias too. I love magnolias too. But dogwoods and hummingbirds are just my thing. I sit out and I watch the hummingbirds. We have feeders. And I watch them and at my mom's house. She have hundreds. And my daughter just started feeding this year. So she didn't have that many. But that's one finished project. That's two quills I didn't got did this year. So hopefully I'm gonna get this one finished. And I got um these are my uh, the hundred blocks here, and I got this to do. These are two rows right here, and I'm finishing up on. I put three rows on one end, and. Uh, two on the other usually I do two and two but when you get to a certain point you only have another block left so and I got this corner here to finish up so I don't know I'm hoping you guys can see me I'm gonna do a little sewing on it this camera I don't know what I'm doing with it it's a camera and I don't know what I'm doing with it so bear with me now I got you crooked instead of bringing you down so just bear with me here. One of them gonna turn out. We're gonna get one of them to turn out really nice. I'm gonna I bump you. I'm gonna pull this one a little bit closer and got my hands over it. Sorry you guys, you know, when you're doing when you're videoing, you never know. I usually I don't use a long thread all the time. But this is the block I'm working on right here. Normally I put a lot of blocks in here with pins I don't advise you to do that because you have to pull this up in your hand have to ball it up in your hand a lot of times you stick yourself well usually I just pull the blocks out and I keep my little stack close by a little stack right here and I just pick up a block and I keep a safety pin um, I keep a pin sorry about that I guess my dogs my dog want to say hi I keep a pen, a little uh, stick pen. Now listen to me, a little stick pen. Uh, to put in here in my block and hold it down. And then once I get this one side did, I take the pens out. I, I tell you, I torture myself with pens. So, and that's why I call it stick pen, because I'm always sticking myself, uh, you know? And the less pens I can do. But once you start doing this, You'll teach yourself so much. You'll be surprised at how much you teach yourself. 
not meaning to, but just focusing on what you're doing, and you will learn a lot. Every quilt that you do should teach you something. You know, um, I don't care if you've been sewing a long time. Every quilt has got a lesson for you. And I really like mine. I want to make, and talk about that, I want to make a correction on my, when I showed my grandmother's flower garden, I was showing uh, the walkway, the pathway in that. I said, when I look back at the video, and I didn't go back and correct it because the video was out and you guys had started watching it. I said that they make the, I was doing mine also with hexagons. And I said that they make them with stars. I don't know where that come from, but anyway. I meant to say they make them with diamonds and half diamonds. They'll make the little green pathway. We're not going to give them that too much. you have to go back and look at my video, see my boo-boo, and then you know what I'm talking about. But I'm going to try to sew here. And, and this is just really, I don't think it's going to work. But I just sew, I just sewed to the end here. And you got to... Pull your little, you know, this is one thing about cotton. You're going to have these little flyaways, which that's okay. But um, I just hold mine and I make sure the back of my material and what I'm sewing here feels smooth up under my hand. Um, I usually have it in my lap. I'm going to try to hold it up for you guys. And you just fold it over. Just fold it over. Let me show you. I'm at a point here. So I just, you see my point? You see my point? I just fold it over. Just fold it over. And a lot of times, because I put these blocks together on the machine, I will, uh, I leave a little hole. Well, I don't so much. Let me find my thimble. And I use this thimble here. I'm not going to hold it. <laughs> That doesn't look right. I use this thimble here, and I love these. But what I find they fall short for me is when I try to stick my needle in from the side, I always go right here and tear up my plastic on here. So I, I uh, kind of go through a lot of them because I should take my time be. uh Remember when I get ready to stick that needle through if it's if I'm having a hard time with it Just take the time and and use the point of the uh, The thimble and I wouldn't have to worry about buying them and I wear a small And uh, Usually I have on my gloves. Let me tell you about these gloves. These are arthritis gloves I wear these because when you do a lot of hand sewing, your hands and your shoulders and all of that, the arthritis complex, uh, compression gloves. And this, if you can see it good, is the company that my daughter bought them. She just went on Amazon and bought them. I don't know if she paid that much for them. I didn't ask. You know, you don't look a gift horse in the mouth. But I wear a size small. And, uh, when I don't use them, I forget to put them on, and I sew, uh, I quit sewing for a while because um, my arms and everything is so because, uh, you know, you're moving, you don't realize how much you, you use your hands, you know, your fingers, and you need something to protect you. I'm, I'm 60, so, you know, I don't know if... I don't think it matters if you how old you are if you hand stitch a lot. But I just sew this, and uh, I'm gonna have to figure out how to get a better view on these, so you can guys can can actually look down at my hands to see what I'm doing, because I don't know if you're seeing what I'm doing, but you know that I'm sewing this little piece now. Now, they say don't lay them on top of each other. Now, my blocks are all the way to the end, kind of. And it's no problem for me to make sure that I have my, when my block is sewn, that it will be okay. But what I do is, mine sometimes sit on each other. You know, as you sew this, you're going to have all kind of different st stitches. Um... 
and I use a small stitch where I come out right there I just kind of back uh, go right real close to it and I come out like that I make a small stitch and I think they call it a blind stitch but it ain't blind because you can see you can see where the needle went in see that this is what I'm talking about see that little hole right there you see that little hole now I fit when I get up here I close it off probably with this block here because that looks like where it came come from but when you'll figure it out I mean you'll see your little hole just do it as neat as you can um nobody will never know it was there you know just when you do it look on the back make sure you got your blocks uh it's great the kids i guess want a video they want to do their own thing now if i wouldn't video and they wouldn't be saying a word they'd be in there watching tv but everybody ready to talk now but anyway uh and cookie's walking now so she's real vocal and into everything and the whole nine but I just wanted to come with y'all come to y'all today do a little bit of sewing I really wanted to be able to sew a while with you guys and uh, I'm gonna do another video I'm gonna get my daughter to help me get set up and so y'all can see exactly what I'm doing that you be looking at my hand and uh, we'll just do a little sew so along and chat. I got a lot more to do on this, so don't get discouraged if you're not getting a good picture today. My next video I'll do. I'll make sure that we just I'll just tell y'all all about my troubles. That's what I'll sit and so with you and tell y'all about my troubles. You know, y'all can't talk back to me unless you you send me a comment. So <laughs> that's funny. You don't want people to to talk back if you tell them about your troubles, I always say, people say, how you doing? I say, honey, I'm doing fine. Nobody wants to hear if I'm not. But this right here, you can sit in front of the TV. Once you, now the main thing, the hardest thing, I'm not gonna say the hardest thing, is getting all your blocks. And I showed you guys, here's some. I got left over, let me take them out this bag so you can see. I got leftover that I hadn't finished, uh, but they will go in the quilt. The main thing, this is a eight. It's, I start out with uh, an eight by eight, and I got an, uh, other videos on show you how to put these together. But I think this is your most time consuming is making your blocks. And then I did mine on the machine. I sewed mine together on the machine. I, I connected them with the machine. But now you got to hand stitch. You got to stitch these these inside blocks down. These little blocks. And my little blocks are two uh, two inch blocks. They're two inch blocks. It's by the time you get through with your little block there, it really gets small. But it's it's really everybody says this quilt is on their bucket list. Um, I'm the type and see your thread is gonna get tangled. This is twisted. I'll let I'll let Key talk to you. She's a little snouser, so she's really bossy, and she's the only female dog in the house, so she's really bossy. There's two males in her, but um, uh, you get your thread twisted, and the best thing to do is just take when you do that. When you continue, don't let it keep getting twisted. I use beeswax too. And this is uh, polyester polyester and cotton thread. And I get it from, just take your your threads and on, you know, just lay them back down together. Just, just get those twists out of there. Uh, I get it from Joann's and it's a polyester, I don't It's just a sewing polyester. It is a, I'm trying to see the weight on it. It's for hand quilting. 
polyester and cotton. It's the weight is a 30 weight. 30 weight. So, and I double mine. I want this quilt to last forever, honey. I don't want to do all this work and then the quilt start falling apart. And I did. A lot of people I know on the other ones, they did not tack their blocks down. I tacked mine down because, you know, little fingers and toes going to get in there and start pulling your blocks up. I tacked mine down. Yes, I went all the way to the back with mine because I didn't want them coming apart. Yeah. Maybe the quilt to last a while uh, because I want it to be uh, used. I want it to be loved on. And like I said, I know I told y'all my mother has claimed this quilt, but her and my daughter, I guess they're going to have to have a raffle or something. My daughter, she wants every quilt. <laughs> and she'll wind up with every quilt before it's over with because once me and her are gone, she'll be the one to get them all. But, uh, and then I got to that end. I went to that end. And now, I just once again, I just fold my ends down together there and hold it tight with your thumb. And just start back up. And do the same stitch. Just keep going. If you feel yourself uh, getting a knot, don't pull it through. Stop. When you first feel it, the best thing to do is stop and fix it at that point. Because if you keep going through, you're going to wish you had not honey. You, sometimes you have to cut the thread and do it over, you know. But I just want to come ch chat with you all and hope everybody is good and uh, well. Hope you're all staying safe and and your kids. I know the kids have went back to school and I know my little grandson, he's in school and he didn't get to go last year, so and that that would have been his uh, kindergarten year. So he went to first grade this year and uh, he's trying to deal with it. He he doesn't know what to do. He's been getting in trouble about talking. And one thing about this thimble too, you can you hold your when you can't get that needle through, they have pads that you can pull a needle through. But this right here, you know, because it's plastic, all you gotta do is just put your thimble down there and grab a hold to your needle and it'll come right on up. And as you go, this will automatically wanna fold for you. Just make sure that your back is nice and smooth when, when it folds. Cause as you can go. It'll just automatically want to fold. Let's see, it'll just fold for you. But you want to make sure that back is really smooth. So when you sew it, you ain't got to womp your back. And uh, kind of keeps it pretty clean in here. But you're not going to get them all really pretty in there. But it kind of keeps it clean in there. So it's, it's just, you know... Little things you have to watch out for. Keep your, bo uh, your block here in the center. Keep it straight. See, this is why you don't want no pins in there because you're gonna always ball this up in your hand. This is a white muslin, a uh, bleach white muslin, and, it, and it's the $2.99 muslin. Just as good, just as good doing the same thing. By the time you fold it in, this uh, quilt is really heavy um, already. And, uh, you know, once you get this done, you're through with your quilt. All but uh, your binding and uh, whatever you're going to do on the ends. Um, if you're going to put a border on it. I'm going to put a border on it. And I may do some because uh, I want to do embroidery, hand embroidery. I may embroidery uh some little some little flowers or something in the center of each one of these blocks because when i get through these blocks are going to be here and it's going to be on my um uh binding i'm not binding um huh. now if i wasn't trying to think of that i could 
it is going to be on my border so what it's gonna be I'm gonna I think I'm gonna do I saw one quilt where you know they put the salsa down and they make the the border I think that's what I'm gonna do uh, on here I'm gonna connect make my borders and then I'm gonna cut them out and then I'm gonna tack these down each one of them have to be tacked down and I'll probably do that on the sewing machine, but I'm on hand embroider. So it's still going to take a little while on this quilt. Even after I get the quilt top finished, putting the border on and doing what I want to do to the border, it's going to take me a little while. But, you know, I'm in no rush. As long as I'm still breathing, I'll get it done one day, you know. Uh, I didn't promise it to anybody. Actually, I called myself keeping it for myself. But uh, everybody likes it, so everybody wants to claim it. So, and my daughter's quilt, I gotta finish that thing up. Oh man, that that thing's gonna be a booger bear. But anyway, I just want to come to y'all, and I'm gonna get set up on my next video, so we can just chat. Tell me if y'all would like to do that, chat, and get the camera set up so you can watch me. Uh, so from my lap. You can see every stitch. So just leave me a comment and let me know if you would like to see that video. And I will get to work getting uh, it set up. And maybe on the other side there, we can. I'll get you a video and show you how to get these knots out. Get it tangled up. When it gets tangled up, we'll go through all of that. I know. I had a couple of subscribers that said they loved to hand sew with me. And that was my intentions of sitting and chatting so we can hand sew. But I'm going to let you all go. And I want to say, um, I want to say thank you to all my new subscribers. And um, I got to do better on putting out videos because I want to do a giveaway when I get 500 subscribers. I'm getting close. I mean, been doing this a year. And I want to say you guys are watching on, on one of my uh, videos, two of my videos. One of them, I got 3,000 views. Come on, people. It's not costing you anything. Help a sister out, would you please? Just help me out. Subscribe to my channel. Support my channel. Um... And I know I need to do videos more frequent to build my channel. And that's what I'm working on doing. That's why I'm trying to use my camera here. Because on my phone, I may not be able to do this video. I have so many pictures and everything on my phone. And I have a nice camera. I don't want to bark it up. I want to use my camera. I don't want to bark my phone up using videos. And then it's telling me it's not, it has no space. But that's my problem. Though, you know. I'm just chatting, just just chatting with you guys. But um, once I get my camera figured out, I will do more videos. Uh, my son is going to work with me. He's actually doing, um, I'm going to send him the camera um, video here. And he's going to title it and edit it. He's got a company that he does that um, for people like me. They just want to shoot the video and you send it to him and he edited it and get it to more people. So he told me to this video to do that. But it may not happen. I may be able to do it on my phone or he's in Australia. Depends on how long it to take him to get it did for me. Because, you know, I'm not paying. I'm mama. So he ain't he going to put me at the, at the end. But I hope uh, you subscribers, all you new subscribers, welcome, welcome. And I hope um, if there's anything you want to see me do, just leave me a comment and I will try to get it done for you. I don't want to leave anybody hanging if you're new to sewing. Uh, I think you should, should learn to hand sew this. I got a machine here. I got a baby lock. I got several machines. I have a machine. Uh, I only have one more project on my machine and I have still got the two uh, hand stitching. And then I'm not doing another project until I get those done. Get all those done. I'm going to do these UFOs. But 
in the meantime, I'm going to come to you with what I have. And uh, we're going to finish this quilt out together. And then we'll work on the grandmother's quilt. And when I do hers, I got to decide if I'm going to do the Dear Jane or the Farmer's Wife's uh, quilt. I think I may do the Farmer's Wife first because it's a smaller quilt. I like to have two projects on each going at a time. But anyway. You all have a blessed day, and um, God bless you and your family. And please, if you like this video, please subscribe. Um, you know, 30,000 views, and I can't get a subscribe out of there. Come on. And on another one, I got over um, a 1,000 and something on another video. And nobody's subscribing. Come on, guys. All right. I'm going to quit whining. All right, you all have a blessed day. God bless you and your family, and stay safe. Bye-bye. See you next time.